Carry On at 60, British film franchise still making TV audiences laugh today. When the opening scenes of Carry On Sergeant, a low-budget film costing under £78,000, flickered onto cinema screens up and down the country in 1958 no one could have foreseen what impact it would have. But the film which premiered 60 years ago this month spawned one of the British movie business's most successful franchises that is still making TV audiences laugh today. An energetic mix of parody, slapstick and double entendres, the 31 carry-on films typified the essence of British comedy. From the NHS to the monarchy no institution was safe from being sent up by the team. Carry On Sargent set the tone for years of vulgar puns with this exchange. Eric Barker as Captain Potts, your rank. Kenneth Williams, well that's a matter of opinion. The films are slightly vulgar but really just innocent fun and shouldn't offend anyone. Shirley Eden Back then Shirley Eden was a 21-year-old actress who was paid £1,000 to play a newlywed wife who secures a job at a national service depot to be near husband Charlie, played by comedian and TV quiz master Bob Monkhouse. Shirley, now 81 and living in London, has nothing but fond memories of her three carry-on appearances alongside the likes of Monkhouse, polite and professional, Kenneth Williams, hilarious, Kenneth Connor, the quietest, Sweetest Person, Charles Hawtrey, Outrageous, and Hattie Jacques. The films are slightly vulgar but really just innocent fun and shouldn't offend anyone, she says. But at the time they were saying things which hadn't been said before on screen. Shirley regards Carrie on Nurse, the second in the series, as her favorite. Like all the films it was made quickly but was very funny to work on. I remember playing Nurse Denton and wearing a long nurse's dress and everyone apparently loved how I swayed my bottom. Although only 21 when the carry-on started Shirley was already an experienced actress having trained at the Aida Foster Theatre School before making a career on stage, in TV and in films such as Doctor in the House and the Bells of St. Trinians. Shirley and Liz Fraser supplied the romantic interests for the first couple of films until Barbara Windsor burst onto the screen in Carry On Spying. Her seductive and sexy looks belied her cockney innocence and her enduring appeal lay in her willingness to display her womanly charms. Despite her Carry On success Shirley will always be remembered for her role as Jill Masterson in the 1964 James Bond movie Goldfinger. I was only in it for five minutes, laughs Shirley. I have much to thank Goldfinger for, even though it was only a small part. Masterson was employed by Goldfinger to help him cheat at cards. But when she betrayed her boss, his bodyguard odd job killed her by covering her in gold paint. The nude scene turned out to be one of the film series' most iconic moments. However Shirley who was married to building contractor Colin Rowe for 36 happy years before he died of cancer in 1994 aged 64 hated the publicity side of showbiz and quit the profession in 1969 aged just 32 to concentrate on her home life. The youngest of my two sons was only two. He had been born prematurely which had been stressful and I was beginning to feel guilty about having a career while raising a family. I was fed up dividing my time between work and those I loved. Women who say that they're not torn between their career and family life are in my view lying. I don't think you can do both 100 per cent. Shirley's two sons are now in their 50s and she has five grandchildren. She says she's tired of the current preoccupation with sexual harassment, men who abuse actresses are pigs but the way some cases have been overpublicized is tiring. After all you mustn't mix up rape with touching somebody's knee. Of course it's awful for anyone who has been affected but it's becoming such a terrible witch hunt. She admits that such incidents happened during her day. Back then, I'm afraid to say, it was the norm for some men to be naughty and to try to take advantage of girls. I'm not saying that it's correct but it happened and everyone knew that it did.